So, um, the first thing that we have to do is we have to actually get to Castle Derich. Okay, let's do this, yeah? I do not need to heal. Grape is pre-damaged on purpose. I will show you why in one hot sec. Let's get this done. Okay. So, he leads Galade. This thing has um, a uh, scope lens, which is kind of scary. But this thing is always going for close combat because it guarantees sees the kill. So we're going to go to Omelette, who times four resists this. Even if it crits, it takes like 33% or something. Pretty annoying, but let's hope it doesn't do that. Perfect. So now we're going to Encore this. The AI is kind of dumb about Encore, so it'll stay in even though um, it's doing piss all damage. So this is used two close combats. We've got three more close combats to go. Not a crit, nice. This means we can go to Grape now because it's stuck in close combat. You see that it's berry instantly activates because it's pre-damaged to under 25%. This instantly gives him a defense boost and also activates his unburden, so now we outspeed this thing. So I'm gonna set up a stockpile. We just have to make sure that it's close. Uh, we have to make sure that it doesn't have its uh, encore end. Okay, so it actually managed to get all, uh, the encore went for all of its turns, so it's gonna run out of close combats after this turn here. And then its encore is gonna end automatically because it's out of close combats. So it's not gonna struggle. So there, Encore has ended. It's now either going to go for Night Slash or Zen Headbutt, or even Leaf Blade if it sees the kill with that. Doesn't matter, we're going to Baton Pass. So we're now we're taking that plus three defense to Torterra, who can never be crit because of Shell Armor. So it gives us a free setup. The scary thing here is that the Gallade could switch at any given moment here, um, because I believe of the way that AI works. Fortunately, uh, we're in a pretty good position here. So the first thing that we're always going to do first is we're always going to do the first rock polish here. So yeah, it's just going for Leaf Blade. It's actually going to go for random moves here because it can't see, it can't use close combat. So it's just completely random. So if we can get, good, we've got one rock polish off. We can go for a sword stance here. We now outspeed this Gallade. We still yet do not outspeed the, um, the Alakazam. Now we guarantee kill the Staraptor, so even if Staraptor decides to come in now, it does not matter. We're at plus four. And... Now we just Rock Polish one more time to guarantee outspeed Alakazam. And I believe that's the game. Let me quickly double check that my math is correct here. Torterra Broccoli at 48 to Staraptor. Uh, return should always kill this. Ooh, wait, it is a roll. Okay, glad I checked, glad I checked. So actually I think to be super safe, we do on another sword stance here. There's, a, there's no reason not to. All right, now we are at plus six. Return always kills. Earthquake will kill everything else, even through the Shucka Berry. We're good to go. Um, fucking Staraptors are scary. I think, so Barry has a couple Staraptors coming up here. And if it were not for the fact that it was Choice Banded, it would actually be really difficult to deal with. Go Zente first. Um, okay, cool. So I am Mente. always dies. Sorry, Ente. It does have a Shucka Berry, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna leave this guy in Tor Terror. <laughs> uh. Starapta. Starappa the Rappa. That's really weird that it went for Entei first, but oh, whatever. Oh, what are you gonna do? Empoleon, A. Eh? You're gonna try and ice beam me, buddy? Too bad. So this Empoleon has Aqua Jet and the Entei has uh, extreme speed. So we do have to, we would have also had to watch out for those ranges a little bit, but they're so low, especially with the plus defense. So this worked out perfectly. I'm glad it didn't switch. If it switched, we would have had to be a little, a little lucky, but we're good now. 
This is the annoying dude that we didn't outspeed at plus two, but at plus four, we are fine. Good game. Ah, oh, we're not gonna win this battle at full HP, bummer. Oh, Metagross. What would you call a flying type evolution? Probably Avion, that makes sense, that's cool. Metagross, more like Mega Gross. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Flapion? I don't like that. Wow, this guy gave me zero dollars too? That's absurd. Oh yeah, she like freaks out. Cool. Cool. All right, Berry Fight is next. Great, let's do it. Okay, all right, Barry, bridge time. All right, Barry, leads with Staraptor. This thing has a choice band, so it does shitload of damage. It should always go for either Brave Bird or Return here, so we can go to Schnitzel here and hope that it does not get a bunch of crits. It's now locked into Brave Bird, doing decent damage to itself as well, which is nice. Uh, it's Okay, that's actually really, really solid damage. Um, that's that's good to see. Great. Uh, we're going to protect once here. Just for recovery, in case it starts getting crits. So as you can see, it's not going for close combat because it's stuck in with Choice Band, so it's always going to just use Brave Bird. Uh, it has about 10 of them. We can now set up a Stealth Rocks here. That is like wild amount of damage for times four resist. <laughs> Um, okay. All right, we got Stealth Rocks up, so that will break Breloom's Focus Sash, which is aces. Uh, now we're just gonna go for a Rock Slide, because why not? This won't kill, but it should get pretty close with the chip. Yeah, when Amon runs out of PP on a banded move, it will start struggling indeed. Okay. I actually wonder if um, resting here is the move. I think we just kill here. Um, the issue, I guess. No, it should be fine. Good, 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 good. Nice, and we hit two rock slides. There you go. Does not have max attack EVs. Opponents don't have EVs. Show me either Breloom or. Okay, Breloom. Interesting. Um. It should always go for Force Palm here. Okay, so ideally, ah, oh, this is still scary. Because if Togekiss gets crit here, or sorry, if it gets fully paralyzed here, that's an issue. I wonder um, if it makes sense to go, it doesn't make sense to go to Forage because if he gets paralyzed, we're fucked anyways. Just go to Omelette here. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Woo! I think this kills. <laughs> Alright, that makes things so much freaking easier. Um, I guess though this does mean that Heracross comes out next. Empoleon, right, 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 right. Empoleon. That was that was always the plan. Okay. Um it's gonna go for Fleece Cannon here, so we can just go Blissey. Okay, Chief. <laughs> you can be as fast as you want there, buddy. Um, so the first thing we're gonna... Ooh, actually, what, what do I wanna do? Mm, that's actually annoying, hold on. No, it's fine, I think. Oh, Jesus. Interesting. That's really weird. I don't know why I did that. That's okay. I imagine, though, what's a little scary here is that this has, yeah, this sees a bunch of kills. But I don't think that matters. Yeah, I think it should be fine to go to Omelette here. Aircross does not have a flying barrier. It has a muscle band right now. 
and it misses Megahorn anyways. <laughs> so now we can just Moonblast. Moonblast! Let's just double check. But Moonblast does 84 to 100%. This Heracross goes down here. This should now bring back Empoleon. And now we've got a totally free Swellow hanging out, which is pretty chill. Hi, Poppy. Goes for agility again. Um, but this time it doesn't even matter because what's gonna come in is Snorlax. So I don't even care. Let's do a Seismic Toss here. This has a citrus berry, so we can't kill it, which is annoying. We might as well just go... Um, what I do want to do is still sing here, because I don't want to take a torrent crit surf. We are going to miss a couple, because it's sing, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. a crit. It's annoying. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we put it to sleep, though. That's cool. And right, we're going to Seismic Toss once. It actually be really cool to bait a crunch here, but I don't know if we can reliably do that, unfortunately. No, this, this Blissey is totally useless for these next two Pokemon, so it, it doesn't matter what HP it's at. So the good news is that this should always go for Body Slam and not Curse. Uh, because the Snorlax, I mean, assuming Snorlax comes in here. I guess if Arcanine comes in here, that kind of sucks. Ah. Actually, it might go for Close Combat here. Which is pretty chill. So you always just go Blueberry here. Nice. Okay, so actually I wonder if a uh, Aqua Jet just kills us now. With the chip. Well, first I'm going to Protect. But I'm gonna Aqua Jet so that we guarantee one Aqua Jet off without getting burned. I think that's safest, that we get at least some damage. But this Flare Blitz never kills, so this should be fine. Aqua Jet now does 56 to 67%. Waterfall just straight up kills though. But I think this is still always the play. Damn! So. Soft Arcanine, it's gonna kill itself with recoil. <laughs> cool, that always feels good. Um, that was a lot of damage. It's supposed to be like minus defense Arcanine or something. Cool, good job, Blueberry. Okay, so now last one, tad scary here. I forgot about, uh, it's got leftovers, so I don't think the spikes really matter, but um, Actually, actually, that, that means that this is totally safe. We can just go to Rigatoni here. Just don't use Curse. All right, buddy. I think we have to dodge a crit here, buddy. All right, let's dodge a crit, Rigatoni. Or just get greedy, Snorlax, and go for another Curse. Nice. Suck it, Snorlax. That was a little risky. High roll, body slam, crit can kill there. Just as a heads, uh, FYI, the only reason that this is so, such a, like, such a risk for a crit here is because this freaking Lucario has minus defense nature and zero defense IVs and nine HP IVs. This thing is terrible. If it wasn't for adaptability, I mean, I, the hasty nature is good, but minus defense, zero IV, defense, nine HP, like, is the only reason that this thing isn't a complete Snorlax wall. Like, even if this thing was, let's say, 10 defense. Okay, I guess it's still high rolls, so we'll still crit, but yeah. Very, very annoying. <laughs> so that's that. So now we've got a fight with um, Riley. Riley on Iron Island. Riley's team is a bit scary. The good news is that now that it's level 50, I think we can use um, Salamence, which makes this a little bit easier. And the other thing is that this Absol is also relatively easy to set up on with something. The one issue 
And so it's not as easy to set up with on the gal galley. Cool. Let's do it. Here we go. What's up, Riley? It's kind of scary. Hopefully he does what we want him to do. Okay, so he leads with a scope lens, super luck, Absol, which is pretty scary. We're gonna go to Udon here. This bear, this uh, baits Megahorn, which is best case scenario. So we can go to Omelette here. Hopefully it doesn't crit, but if it does, it does. So that's one Megahorn used. That's crit, yeah, that's okay. Now we're gonna Encore it into Megahorn. Oh, I meant to protect there first. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. That's two Megahorns now. Mm -hmm. Go to Salamence for the Intim. Three mega horns. Okay. Four mega horns. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, roost would have been a good play. Yeah, that's my bad. Five mega horns. And it's a minus two. And encore ends. Okay. So now this thing is going for play rough. We could theoretically go back to Tangrowth. Do this again. Ah! I don't know why I went for that. That's probably because it's a crit. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Protect once here. It's another Mega Horn. That's six Mega Horns. Seven Mega Horns. Eight. Nice. Nine. That's crit. That's the ninth one. Ten. Minus three out of Mega Horns. We should be good to go. Oh, wait. You know what? I fucked up. Uh, it should be fine. It should be fine. I actually want to go to um, Bastiodon and set up Stealth Rocks. Don't crit here, don't crit here, don't crit here. Please don't crit here. <laughs> okay, we can't stay in. I uh, f***ed up. Okay, this makes slightly scarier. Yeah, no, 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 we, we can't stay in here. Whoopsies. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, that does mean that um, Slaking might potentially survive an attack. I don't think there's much I can do about that. It'd have to be high, uh, it'd have to be plus defense. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I guess we'll see. <laughs> A lot of backseat gamers in chat today, huh? Could have done this, could have done that. It's not true. Plus six, perfect. Okay. Um, Let's do it. Here goes nothing. You guys are really, really funny today. Like, really funny. Yeah, okay, so Salamence comes out. We're at plus five now. Annoying, but what are you gonna do? And now we've got Salamence here. Riley, Earth, uh, Return always kills this. Great. Interesting, Lucario comes out next, huh? All right, buddy, sorry. Ha! Ah, crit for the insult to the add to the injury. That's that saying, right? The insult to add to the injury. Uh, Ursaring. Lovely. You know, if you want to go for protect here, you totally can, but I guess you're not going to. Um. Oh boy, do we kill this. We kill this horde. Let's get to level 52 so that we guarantee that kill on the uh, Slay King, yeah? Damn it. 
Okay, so this Slay King does go down, but if it's plus defense nature, then it won't go down. The good news is that it can't really do anything to us. It can body slam, but that does 47%, and then it takes a turn of loafing, so. Picking its nose, what a loser. You plus defense nature? You are not. Nice. Now we're at 52, now it doesn't matter. Cool, okay, um, who's, who's last? The Metagross, did we already fight that? Yeah, oh no, not the Metagross. Not the Metagross, oh no. So, this is good, this is fun, it's easy. It's, um, it's, it's not easy. It, you still have to figure out how to set it up. But these setup sweeps are, are very, very reliable to get through some of these like random battles that are a little bit harder like this and Derek. So I, I like doing it for this. The bad part about it, or it just like, it doesn't give me very good practice for the 12v12. And that's, I think ultimately what kind of screwed me over in the 12v12 is over relying on setup strats, which you can't really do in the 12v12. Either way. Okay, this does give us access to Iron Island. We have to go do it, unfortunately. But we do get a new encounter here. We also actually get an encounter from um, Canalave. We can get either Gastrodon or Tentacool. Let's do Tentacool first. So Canalave City, yeah, I can, or I can guarantee Finneon, but I think I'd rather have Tentacool or Shellos instead of Tentacool or Gastrodon. So let's go do that. All right, show me what you got. Pretty cool. Nah. Hey, one ball HG, baby. Let's go. Woo! All right, what type of food is this tentacool? We can name him Jelly Bean, sure, why not? Jelly Bean! All right, let's see uh, Liquid Ooze, yeah? If we assume the worst, we won't be disappointed. All right, Jelly Bean, what you got, buddy? Impish. Uh, and clear body, okay. Minus special attack is kind of annoying, but this does have the same attack as it ha does have special attack, so it's not terrible. All right, so uh, what can we get in the old Iron Island? It's So it's either Laron, Mawile, Sableye, Nosepass, Rhydon, or Steelix. At 43 though, I can guarantee either Steelix or Rhyhorn. Uh, I presume it means Rhydon, but yeah. And I think Steelix would be pretty good. Agron is also really good, but we do have Bastiodon. So I think actually Steelix would might be a little bit better. Or I could go try and get lucky and get Mawile. What are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? Nice. Come on, Steelix. Come on. You know you want to come home with us. You know you want to. Come on, Steelix. Steelix. Oh no. Oh no. Steelix. Don't do this to me. One ball HG, let's go! Name this Pistachio because he keeps cracking out. That's pretty funny. All right, you got it. It's a she, but yeah. Pistachio. Let's just take a look at this Steelix. All right, Steelix. I don't think that really matters. There's a trash ability too, but whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, minus defense isn't gonna hurt us that much. Look at that defense. Hasty, let's go, baby.